welcome to totally 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 trendy hey did you get that spongebob reference my name is sam and today we are going to be making some diy pretty patties from spongebob this is everything that my little like aesthetic heart has been waiting for. If you guys are not familiar with Pretty Patties, they are from an episode of Spongebob and they look like this. Whoa, crazy. They're just very colorful Krabby Patties. All different colors of the rainbow. And for whatever reason, they really stuck out to me as a kid. Like I was like, I want one of those. A regular Krabby Patty just looks like a burger, but I want a Pretty Patty. So today we are gonna be trying to make a DIY version of this. I'm gonna be trying a couple of different methods. One that I'm unsure of and the other that I'm pretty sure is gonna be foolproof. Are you guys ready? Can you cut in the, are you ready kids? Yeah. Are you ready kids? Please cut in that little clip, thank you. Okay, let's do it. I've dissected the elements of a Krabby Patty right up here, according to a scene from SpongeBob, where SpongeBob literally says like, you think I can't take a bun, put a patty and lettuce and cheese and blah, 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 blah. Literally lists all of the ingredients. So I guess there's not a secret ingredient anymore. I don't know. I feel like they kind of let that plot hole slip a little bit, but these are all of the our ingredients for a Krabby Patty. Missing the secret ingredient, of course. So so you can go ahead and make a standard burger with all of these ingredients, a patty, lettuce, cheese, onion, tomato, ketchup, mustard, pickles, or you can be like me and maybe you don't want to cook a burger because maybe you don't have all the equipment that is required to cook said burger and it would take a really long time so you just want to drive through McDonald's. This is just truly going to save so much time. Also, checking the ingredients. It's all the same ingredients. So as long as I order it with everything on it, we're good to go. McDonald's is the crusty crab. Bold claims, I know. Hi, um, I'm just gonna do two quarter pounders with cheese and just the sandwiches. Just two quarter pounders? Yes. Anything else? Nope, that's it. I'm gonna do the first one now. Thank you. And just like that, we're back. So I have two quarter pounders in here. Let's open these up, make sure they got all the ingredients right, and then we will start trying to transform these into a pretty patty. So I got two, just so we could experiment with everything that is on it. They've got onions, mustard, ketchup, pickles. The pickles are very important. He's been hiding the pickles under his tongue the whole time. Cheese, patty, onions, yeah. So the only thing that I've noticed that they don't have on this is a tomato. I'm still gonna use you, but you were so close to being perfect. For me, that's kind of a win because I hate tomatoes, so we're just gonna keep rolling with it. Now, for this first one, we <laughs> are going to try using food coloring to color a majority of the outside pink. Now, with the separate ingredients, I feel like you can get pretty close to making a pretty patty, like a solid color. However, I'm already pretty skeptical about that method, but we're gonna try that out. I have a backup plan that I think is gonna be the easiest and like most foolproof way to get a pretty patty, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's try throwing food coloring on this thing. Have you ever wondered what you're doing with your life? All right, we have some gel food coloring. I'm just gonna do a little test like this. We have an onion that is white and now it's looking scary. Oh man, red was maybe the wrong color. Why did they make red pretty patties? That doesn't look appetizing. But let's just try painting this pickle and see what happens. It does work for this ingredient. As far as the ketchup goes, fine, obviously it's red. It's not like it's not working. It just looks gross. Honestly, this is staying way better than I thought it was going to. I did not think it was gonna be this like paintable. Maybe this gel food coloring isn't the worst idea. Painting the bun definitely works, but it rubs off on your fingers and also takes a long time. I feel like I'm definitely not a fan of this method. I don't think this is the payoff that we want. So I think we're gonna pass on this method. So we're gonna move on to my backup method which was originally my first method, but I thought this one might work first. So we're just gonna go with my plan A. <laughs> I feel like I might as well try this. Half of a pretty patty. Let's see. I mean, I don't like how messy it is. Oh no. Mm -mm. This is why we're not doing this method. Okay, time for the next version. Ugh. 
Okay, it is time for this next method because like this is, <laughs> I feel so paranoid about my teeth right now. It is time for some spray paint. Just kidding. This is food spray paint. Now, this seems like the most obvious, simple way to completely cover every ingredient, the entire burger patty, pretty patty itself, and yeah, make it pretty. So these are just color mess. It's edible, safe. We're good to go. I got a few cans of these. I don't know why I thought I would need a lot, but we'll see. I want to completely deconstruct this patty as much as I can so each ingredient is fully covered, you know, and has that like vibe. <laughs> so let us get misting. Oh my goodness, you guys. I present to you with a pretty patty. Look at it glisten. I'm gonna take a bite. Okay, yeah, you got me, it's fake. So I spray painted this. This is just one of those classic like expectations versus reality moments because this is what it would look like from the cartoon like in real life, but I tried every fiber in my being to get the other burger as pink as possible, but you're not gonna get this because these base ingredients aren't white. This is gonna be the pretty patty that you get. It's all definitely like tinted pink, but like the bun turned out more orange but so this is just the unfortunate truth of expectations versus reality you know it's it's still pink tinted now we have to try it but I don't like mustard I'm very picky with my food so I'm gonna make someone else try this <laughs> all right sit down sit down so you see the theme of today's video crusty gray yeah SpongeBob. is that why you asked me to come in here because I am a character in SpongeBob speaking of I have I'm a pretty patty for you Oh my gosh. Okay, two things. One, I don't even know how to react. <laughs> Did you spray paint it? It looked like yeah. you spray painted it. Eat it. With a real spray paint. Yeah, eat it. Ah. <laughs> oh, really? For real? I already took a do? bite. You obviously. And then I spray painted yeah, it. Yeah, I was no. like, don't no, even try. I would not try and make you eat a spray paint. Let me see burger. the paint that you used. So, to make sure that it's edible. This is spray paint. Like, this is not edible. Oh, okay. So, I went on a you little bit. You almost killed me. No, I didn't. Not... She almost killed me. Post in the comments down below. Patrick, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah. I had been on a journey today trying I... to make a pretty patty. I can tell. It turned deeply into an expectations versus reality moment. Ah. Because these are, you know, the expectations. That's what it looks like in a yeah, cartoon. The, yeah, exactly. In the show, it's like legitimate, just great color, just Boom, saturated yeah, right there. But you know, when you look at the real ingredients that a burger requires, they're not all white, so they're not gonna absorb. Wow, water. Sam. No. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what it came out as. This is what it came out as. That's not awful. It's see, it's one of those things where it's like it's not awful. It's just like it's kind of it's sad. it's like the top bun looks kind of cool, but because it was brown and we put pink on it, it turned out like the orange. sesame seeds look like doable. Yeah. What is that cheese on the like is that yeah? The... So I had to put mozzarella cheese on the inside because I wanted the cheese to be more pink because that makes sense, it's the white. the yeah exactly. Um, but if you notice, parts of the patty kind of turned pink. Yeah, no, it's actually but, better, like, that one is better than I expected. That's the thing, though, is that, like, you can't turn a patty pink. It definitely looks, like, tinted, but, like, is this not expectations versus reality, yeah, like, to the a little. T? But, for what it's worth, this is expectations versus reality in cartoon, but it's exactly. the opposite in real life. Like, if I saw that and it was 100% edible, I wouldn't eat it. Even if this was 100% edible, I feel like it'd just be too weird to eat. That is still a burger. This just looks like a pink thing, you, you know? know? That is a very interesting point. Because when Spongebob and Patrick are like selling pretty patties and the salesman comes up to them the first time He's like, ha, it's all green <laughs> And he's like, oh, that's Mr. Like Crab was right impression. But yeah, I don't know how I would feel about eating something that's yeah, like completely like, monochrome So I can actually eat this Yeah, that is completely safe it Smells like a burger Yep it is in fact a burger. Where'd you get this from? McDonald's. Is my like lips pink or anything? No. I'll take another bite then. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, see, I feel like it worked out. Like this is what you get when you try and bring cartoons to real life. Mozzarella is a nice touch, by the way. Oh, thank Not you. Not that bad. Thank I you. I like it. Well, thank you yeah. for your burger skills, Patrick. I will oh, also say. Star. I, that's Patrick why I Star. It. That's why I grabbed it. You're welcome. So these pretty patties did not turn out quite as expected, but again, that's what you get when you try and bring 
bring something from a cartoon into the real world. And um, yeah, don't eat spray painted burgers. Only use food safe dyes if you guys are determined to try and make your own pretty patties at home. My official suggestion is that you try and get like a white edible paint maybe, spray it all over first, and then try and go over with the pink. Seems like the best option, but if anything, if you have to settle for the burger that Patrick ate, I still think it's fun. It's still a colored burger, so go enjoy your pretty patties.